All right, welcome back to Just Car Rob, part two. We're starting out with a view tool, part two of carving a cubid in basswood. Starting out with the OCC V tool. It is three eighths of an inch V tool. We're going to uh, get some cuts in here. Trying to figure out which hand to use, which hand will work the best for this. Basically, we just use the V-tool like a little pencil. We're just kind of using it to draw in the lines. Now we've got the uh, Just Carved Rob upswept knife. And we're working uh, the wings in the back of the head in. Cutting down the back of that head because you know the wings sit behind the head. If you were an angel, you'd know that. But most of you are devils. Ah, kidding. Just joking. In which case, you'd have to make room for the horns. <laughs> All right, so. We're starting the, uh, see, I told you that hair would come down a long way. Okay, now we're going to round that face over. That's what we're doing there. You can see we, we got rid of a little bit of that point that was on the nose. Or on the forward part of the face. Rounding the bottom chin over. We'll take that up a little bit more because we want to give this little dude a little bit of a neck. A little neck going there. Slicing away. Cut that hair back a little bit more. Out of camera. Alrighty then. So we have adjusted our our view here. We zoomed out or zoom changed the zoom and the cropping of the editing program. See how you I really like that upswept knife. It lets you get into spots that you couldn't get into with a with a regular straight blade. The front of that kind of acts like a little bit of a gouge or chisel. So it gives you a little more uh a little more wiggle worm wiggle wiggle worm. Yeah a little more wiggle room to uh, work it we can work it out yeah all right see how we're shaping that we're getting that chin shaped in there maybe i need to zoom out a little bit the more you zoom in the more you gotta try keep them in the uh frame should we say see we're getting that Still working on that face. I think this will be the time for the face. Right now, it looks like he's wearing a little football helmet, don't it? Going into combat. Valentine's Day. Okay, we're drawing in the bottom of the nose and where we're going to put the eyes. There we go. We'll chop in that nose right there. Looks like he's got some boogers hanging out of it. Just some wood chips. Use that V tool to cut in some eye channels or mark them anyway. We'll come back in with the knife, one inch OCC, to cut the spot for the eyes. And don't worry, that hair will go back more, so he'll end up with a little bit more of a forehead. Because right now it's hanging way over, drawn in the nose. And we have the OZ Plus with a carbide ball. Try to zoom in there on that for you. You can see we're making that nose really big. You can see that carbide ball there. And working under the nose a little bit, rounding it over a little. And now we're going to take the knife and the one inch OCC knife and we'll shape that nose or we'll start shaping that nose give them a little bit upward angle on them using that scoop cut to bring the nose down a little scoop cut on the sides of the nose give it a little round a little round over there 
taking off that sharp edge on the nose. Scooping up into that where the eye socket's going to be. Using a chip cut down into the corner by the, the ridge, bridge of the nose. That's where our eye's going to be. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. <clears throat> a little chip cut there. What we're doing is we're already starting to give that I, we're starting to round that eye mound over just with that, that simple chip cut. Okay, now we're going to change the angle on that eyebrow. A little chip cut alongside the nose to give the nose a little more depth. Right there. Got them back into the center of the frame for you. See, we're just putting that chip cut in there. Now we're cutting in the upper upper part of the eye. Cutting in the, uh, we're going to give this guy a kissy face. So we're going to have to make that lip pucker. Even though it don't look like that right now. <laughs> Got that little diamond, that little carbide ball burr, which is uh, a little bit big for this job. I know I got a little tiny one. Teeny tiny. There, look, he's starting to give this old smoochy face. Starting to get that smoochy face going. And we have got a long ways to go on his face. Give him some little cheeks. And I'm like, boy, this guy is starting to look a lot older than the baby Cupid. <laughs> He's starting to look way too old to be baby Cupid. There you go. There's kisses to all you guys. Now we're getting the wing cut down. Get the right distance. I'm only going to show you guys how to do one wing, I think. As it is getting laid in today and... uh my back is starting to kill me from sitting in this chair. We got to wrap this thing up. Uh, so he will not have paint. Maybe tomorrow. See how big he is? My thumb is as big as he is. Little guy. Little tiny guy. Little fella. It's a mosquito cubid. Putting in our stop cuts. We're using a flex cut. Inch and a half knife. Or inch and three eighths. I'm sorry. Uh, detail knife. These are good knives for anybody that wants uh, to know about a good, uh, reasonably priced knife. I was thinking about ordering a beaver craft detail knife. Uh, not sure. They're like 12 bucks. So, can you really go wrong for 12 bucks even if you gotta reshape the blade? I think not. Um,. Okay, so we have a cut saw flame burr gold, so it's fine. And we're just taking taking the uh, material down by that. I guess it would be a bone that goes around the edge of a wing. So uh, we want to let that make that bone uh, be pronounced, let it stick out a little bit. So we're just going to do that with the uh, flame burr here. And bring it right up to the line. We don't want to, I don't want a sharp edge there. I want it to kind of roll and flow into the uh, rest of the wing. When we put the uh, feathering in, just smoothing out some stuff. Okay. And now we're going to take that, that out and we're going to put in a flame shape diamond burr. Get these diamond burrs on E, uh, sorry, Craigslist. Yeah, <laughs> come on, Rob, think of it. What's it called? Amazon, that's it. Uh, in a pack of 20. I think they're like $15. And these are the coarser burrs. Sign your pieces. These are the coarser. They're like an 80 grit burr. Now we're going to go down to the little 120 grit uh, diamond flame burr. Buy these in a box of 20 
or you can get them in the uh, assorted box, but I usually just buy this burr in 120 grit in a box of 20. Now we're using the side of that burr to create the texturing of a feathers overlapping each other. See how easy that is? No great uh, scientific... Uh, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to do this. No, rocket scientist. And I lay the burr on its side to create the first riffle of feathers. Riffle. Like potato chip. No, that's ruffles. Riffles. Riffles, ruffles. Whatever you want to call them. And then at the bottom of that wing, like an eagle, I give it the long feathers. Now you can see I'm using more of the end of the burr to give it depth. So it looks like feathers layer layered over feathers. See? That easy. All right. So now we got the sand and stick out. And we're going to clean them up. And uh, this is an 80 grit sanding stick. I will switch over. I have... I got these from Mountain Wood Carvers. You get like four of them with a, with a handful of different belts. And I haven't, like, uh, you know, they got other grits. And the, here's the nice thing. You just, when you get the end wore out, you can just rotate it around. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Share, subscribe, and like if you want to. Stay safe. Make sure you sign your pieces. All right. All right. And we will catch you on the next one. Right, Spike? Right. There's a picture of them. That'll be your thumbnail. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Have a happy Valentine's Day.